Welcome everyone to another great episode. This is Derek, I am Amy. You are watching Princess Auto See at Work where we test products live in action. Today we are hanging out with the AR Blue Max 2300 PSI electric pressure washer. And today we're gonna show you how this thing works. Uh, Derek obviously came in a little bit early today and put it together for us. Um, so clearly normally it comes in a box. So why don't you walk yeah. us through a little bit on what comes out of the box and what the setup is like. Cause I didn't come in yeah. to help you out with this today. Yeah, right? no, it's really easy. So in the box, you see everything you see here, except obviously for the garden hose. Um, the uh, little bit of uh, kind of build that you're gonna have to do with this guy is you're gonna put on the top of the frame. You're going to put on the wheels. There's two little pins, a couple little clips, no tools required for that. And then you're gonna mount with two screws, the uh, foam cannon and hose holder. And then you're gonna put on the uh, nozzle guide on the bottom with two screws. Plug it in, hook up your water, and you're washing. Easy. Yep. Easy. How easy long did it take you to set up? Less than 10 minutes. And I didn't help. Nope. Did you read the instructions? I did. Good. I recommend that always you're reading read the, the instructions. instructions. As always on our shows, we're going to be giving away something at the end of the show, drawing a name. So make sure that you get your questions into our chat. We'll do our best to answer as many as we can while we're here. What are we giving away today? We're going to give away one of these. Awesome. Yep. Great stuff. Should we get right into it? We should. Yep. All right, what do you want to spray first? Uh, well, before we spray, we're going to have to put our PPE on. You're right, safety and first. We're going to head over to the table here. We're going to talk quickly about our uh, cool. chemicals that we've got set aside. So safety in terms of the pressure washer, you're going to just want to make sure you've got gloves if you're using it. You've got goggles if you're watching Derek use it. And just an extra piece, make sure that your cables are all set up the way you want them. Um, they're not tangled up, that you know where you're stepping. Uh, that was something we've already set up for you guys. That's right. All right, yeah. let's walk me through this rainbow of uh, sure. chemicals yeah. here. This so we've got cool. a little bit of everything that we carry at the store. Okay. Um, we've got some degreasers, we've got some detergents, and we've got some car wash. And then at the end, we have some pump saver, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, but there's kind of a range of different things you can do with this stuff. I mean, we've got, this is a citrus base. We have a uh, phosphate free. Um, so that's good for the environment. We've got uh, industrial degreasers if you're doing some really heavy cleaning, engine parts or transmissions, whatever you're into. Yeah. Um, this stuff actually we use in our um, uh, solvent tanks, uh, the parts cleaners, but it's water soluble and it can be cut or diluted, the same as this guy here. So you can really use anything you want. Um, we've got uh, the availability to spray any chemical with the foam cannon that we have and uh, it just uh, makes the, che the uh, cleaning chores a little bit easier. Cool, yeah. and you said citrus base. Is that yep. purely just for the joy of the smell of orange or what? Well, that's, that's a good part. It's part of it. Yeah, I like that. I do too. But it's really good, uh, citrus is really good for stripping grease. Awesome, yep. very good to know. Yep. Cool. And then uh, just as one of the accessories that we can actually uh, yeah, put on with this guy. Yeah, let's get into this thing here. Yeah, we've got a curved wand here. So this could be used for going overhead and gutters. cleaning out gutters, right? Extends on the wand. Um, or you could go under clean vehicles. A lot of guys like to uh, get under to clean their trucks if they've been out in the fields or something like that, or got some equipment at home. You get into onto the farm and you want to uh, spruce it up a bit. So uh, lots of different things. We get lots of different uh, attachments yeah. for the pressure washers in the shop. Very cool. And now yeah. when you are going on the roof, um, it is portable, right? Yeah. You can so kind of pull yeah, it out. we can go over there and we Kay. can pop it off the frame. Cool. The whole unit, as it stands, weighs about 30, just about 37 pounds. So you can unhook on both sides here underneath. And it lifts straight up and off. And you can port it around like that, or you can leave it on the frame and make it easy to roll around. The wheels are nice and tall, so that's good. It makes it easy to roll over land if you're going out in the backyard or down the road or something like that. Let's talk about the quick change tips while we're... Sure. Yeah, uh, because I know that Robert had a question about that. So we're going to get to that for you while yeah. we set this one up for sure. us. So what comes with the unit is you do get a couple fixed spray fan nozzles. So we've got the 15 degree and the 25 degree. Um, there's two extra ports with uh, sitting along with these guys. So you could put a zero and a 40 degree as well. So what that means is if you have a zero degree, that nozzle, that spray is going to be very fine, very precise. So it's almost going to be like just a clean shaft of water coming out. If you got to get down, clean out cracks in concrete or something like that, and it'll go 15, 25, and then all the way to 40 degrees. And that's a very wide fan. So if you're cleaning, washing a truck or cleaning some lawn furniture, and you don't want to get too aggressive, but you still want to have the pressure behind it, you can widen the fan out and just quick tip. Cool. We also have a cone spray nozzle here, and it gives a nice wide fl uh, uh, spray fan out on the front and it's very similar 
to what you're going to get out of this. Now this is the foam cannon. It's going to spray out the front, it's going to mix the foam, siphon it out as the water travels through. You can use car wash, detergents, whatever you like in here. And it does have a little adjustable knob on the top so you can have a little bit less chemical, a little bit more chemical, whatever you want to spray out. And it's got a nice little dock station right in the back here. So everything's contained, you're not losing them in the garage, in the toolbox or something like that. Everything's where it should be when you go to use it the next time. Very cool. Yeah. And can we pay for assembly? Can you pay for assembly? Yeah. I think uh, realistically, I mean, it wouldn't take long. I don't think you'd have to pay for it, but what very What do you call easy. that at Princess Auto? Two beer project? <laughs> What's that? It's a two beer project. Two beer project, yeah. Took Derek 10 minutes, shouldn't be too, too long it's to assemble. very straightforward. Yeah, yeah. you need a, a, a screwdriver and just a box cutter to get the box open. That's Maybe really a bag need. of Cheetos. Maybe. Sometimes Cheetos that helps. Cheetos are always good. Absolutely. All right, no yeah. pressure. Uh, which one are we hitting first? Um, well, I mean, we've got the mats here. That's uh, They're kind of grungy, so we could give that a spray. I would like to point out those are our producer's mats, yeah. uh, Jillian's, and She's they are disgusting. So we are going to spray them for her and make sure. them clean. Right. So I think we're going to go maybe a little aggressive. We'll use the 15 degree tip, so that's going to get a I like it. little bit of cleaning. So we're just going to pop that in. And safety first, again, just want to make sure that with all guns, nozzles, and things with triggers yep. that you are pointing away from all people. Yeah. Yep, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you don't want to take an eye out. Okay, so we're just going to go. Everything's ready to go. The water's on. The machine's on. We're going to spray. Great work. Yeah, and I mean, what you can do with the mats too is you can go in, scrub them with a brush, get some detergent on it if you've got some salt stains or something for yeah. over the winter, right? We're just coming out of spring and into hopefully into warmer weather and you're gonna be doing this kind of stuff and uh, it just makes light work of it. I mean, or if yeah. you're like me and you eat lunch in your car, you might have french fries crammed down there too, so hopefully this <laughs> it, takes care of that. It does happen. Good, yeah, yeah, yeah very happen. good. Jillian's yeah. gonna be impressed with this. I think so. Uh, let's do the other one. Let's just get them, sure. cause you know, yeah. they gotta be even Stevens. Yeah, absolutely. I'm gonna take a look at our questions. Called out, sure. Great, it took like six seconds. Yeah, it's love it. Easy peasy. Yeah, cool. the nice thing is with it being electric, you don't have to fuss with gas, oil changes, Great. anything like that. Um, very easy to maintain. Uh, you don't know oil filters or small engine parts to uh, to mess around with if you're not uh, inclined to do so. Okay. Yeah. If you guys are just tuning in, you're watching See It Work. I'm Amy, this is Derek. We are testing products live in action. Today we are hanging out with this AR Blue Max 2300 PSI electric pressure washer. And we are killing it with these floor mats here. I'm gonna yeah. check some questions. Um, do you have to purge the system prior to going to full pressure? No, you do not. No, nope, it will purge automatically. Yeah, you might get, you know, if there's some air bubbles in the hose. Uh, you might get some popping out of the end, but once you're uh, good and go and your stream is steady, you're off to the races. Okay, Rhonda and I would like to know if you can change the pressure for different jobs. No, the pressure is set on this, so it's going to be a max, right, at uh, uh, 2300 PSI. And uh, 1.5 gallon per minute is the delivery, so that's preset in the pump. There's no uh, adjustment to be made on this one. Cool. In a, that's usually in a larger version or a lot of the gas ones will actually right. have, yeah, you can set it. What's the cold storage like? And I'm not, I'm not talking about an Ontario breeze here. I'm talking about Manitoba, Manitoba frozen winter. cold weather. Well, that's funny, <laughs> How does that work? Funny you should ask that. <laughs> we have some pump saver here and this can be used on any pressure washer. Doesn't matter the, you know, electric or gas. We have this in the store here. So basically what you're getting is an antifreeze. So with an electric pressure washer in that there's no recoil like you'd have on a gas engine, this is going to hook up to the water inlet. So you're going to take your hose off. You're going to hook this up to that and open the valve up. So that'll allow the, uh, the uh, antifreeze to flow into it. And basically you go over to the pump. It's going to go on here. They're all going to be a very similar kind of an inlet, three quarter garden hose like that. And then when you're ready to get it purged, um, you can um, turn it on. You don't really want to cycle it all the way through with the gun, but you can give the gun a couple hits to pump a little bit of the water out. And then you're going to apply pressure to the bottle and it's going to flow through as you give it a couple quick squirts. And as the water flows out, it's going to fill the pump cavity with antifreeze. 
Uh, a lot of people think if you blow air into the pump, it's going to take the water and dispel it. All that does is push it around. You might get some move out, but it's not going to take all of it out. And I've seen a lot of people come in with crack pumps in the spring. Uh, and that was the first thing said, well, I blew air in it. Air doesn't do it. You have to use pump saver and okay. you can use it on gas ones. Gas is a little different. Um, the gas one, you're going to hook it up the same way and you're just going to slowly pull your recoil on your gas motor. You're not going to run it and you're just going to apply pressure, squeeze the bottle and slowly pull the recoil and you'll see that clear water come out and then it's going to run into the antifreeze. And once it's through, turn the bottle off, put the cap back on, put it on the shelf for next year and do the same thing. Easy. This, uh, this little bottle will save you a lot of money and headache in the long run if you don't uh, winterize properly. Uh, and after that, really, I'll just take your hose off and your wand off, let them dry out and ideally store them inside. Uh, if you can't put the whole unit inside, if you can okay. put the whole unit in heated, you're off to the races. So there you go, Jill. That answers your question about storing it indoors. We've had a lot of people asking how long the hose is. It's our most popular question. Yep, the hose is 25 feet and the power cord is 35 feet. So, I mean, you can get a, a good uh, space away and if you have a 50 foot garden hose, you're into uh, pretty much any project. You can get uh, around the corner from the tap. You don't have to have it right local to you. Yeah, yep. and to the roof, right? Yep, you can yep. get it. You, you can take it up get to the roof if you want. Done. Sure, yep. Cool, um, I've had a couple people asking about the warranty. Warranty is going to be a year through Princess Auto, but like with everything else in Royal Service, if something goes on in the future, we'll do our best to help you out. All right, yep. awesome. What about, uh, let's talk more about the foam. Sure. Well, I'm, the foam, I'm really pumped about the foam. Yeah, the foam, that's, we're gonna, that's a big thing we're going to talk about. So the foam, you can use any detergent in the foam cannon, but let's say if you're going to do something on a, uh, a vehicle, we're going to do a little bit of a wash later on this guy. We've got some of the Meguiar's uh, crystal, deep crystal car wash here. We're going to put that in the cannon and it's going to uh, coat just let it saturate, let it soak, pull all the dirt down, and then we're gonna go over and give it a rinse. Ideally, I would suggest doing this uh, not in direct sunlight. Um, it's just uh, less chance to uh, dry too quick. Um, but yeah, it's, it's real easy. Um, it doesn't have to be pre-mixed. It's a little heavy, so what we'll probably do um, to thin it out a bit is we'll put a little bit of water in the yeah. cavity before we go. But like all the degreasers and detergents, they're, uh, they're almost like water. So you can pour these guys in. Um, you can pour a little bit more, a little bit less, depending on what, a, what kind of concentrate. If you've got a lot of grease and grime, you can go over it a second time or you can put a lot in and you can turn the adjuster knob on top of the cannon to allow more product to come out and uh, get cleaning. Yep. As always, Derek's managed to kill three questions, so good job for yep, you. No problem. Uh, people are wondering, actually, Derek, do you prefer gas or electric? Um, I guess it depends on the situation. So something like this is really good, uh, even up into some light industrial applications. But I mean, to be honest, if you've got to remove graffiti or something like that, you might want something that's 4,000, 4,500 PSI. Yeah. Um, it's very specific to the job. Um, if you're going to do some wet sandblasting, you might want something that has a little bit more flow and pressure to it. But for household cleaning, cars, trucks, tractors, um, gutters, decks, fences, that kind of stuff, this is perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. I mean, we should probably uh, blast something else. Sure. Eh? Well, let's clean. We've got this uh, this yeah. uh, sweeper here, and it's kind of grungy. So um, yeah, we'll get to cleaning that. And what which uh, end are you going to recommend? Which um, tip are you going to recommend? I think we're probably going to leave the same in there. Okay. We'll go with the 15 degree. That seems cool. to clean pretty quick. All right. Yeah. Safety first. You got your gloves. We yeah. got our goggles. Yeah. We're pointing at the right stuff. Yeah, and especially Excellent. if you're going into you know something that's got a lot of debris on it and loose rust or rocks or something yeah. like that, that can come right back at you. So yeah, the gloves and the glasses, really good idea. Yeah, and stand behind Derek a little yeah, bit. Stand yeah, stand behind me, that's the safe thing. <laughs> yeah, all right. new yeah it's perfect and like you say if you have to go in there if it's something that's really really nasty and you got to give it a little bit of a spray with something to kind of loosen up the grime you can do that too get a little bit of an oil leak or something like that okay yeah uh, we've got a few people asking if you can use this on windows I too am interested because yep. I have not cleaned my windows yep, since absolutely January. and there's agents you can get to <laughs> to put in the the cannon and spray on or you can spray them on and then go after yeah. and clean it it makes a you know if you've got to get up high you can put an extension you can put a short extension on this guy too um, to get up if you've got a corner or you're just not sure about going up a ladder and you want to clean up on the tops of the windows or whatnot get all the uh, grime off from the winter absolutely cool yep. all right guys if you're just tuning in this is see at work Live in action testing this cool product, AR Blue Max 2300 PSI 
electric pressure washer. I'm Amy and this is Derek and today we're blasting stuff. Yeah. Uh, Tom would like to know if there are replaceable parts. Replaceable parts, realistically, it's just gonna be the accessories. I mean, if you happen to damage the wand or the hose, that's an easy replacement. Okay. The tips, the accessories, um, there's really nothing else that's gonna be uh, required. I mean, unless you have some, you know, traffic accident, you drive over the thing in your driveway. I always want to be cautious of that, but no, that never happens. Never happens. No, we've never seen that. No, no. What about the PVC line? Is that something that you could replace? Yep, the yeah. the, yep, the, the hose, you can do that as well. Hose and kit. it's got an M22 uh, fitting on each end of the hose, which is a very common uh, pressure washer fitting. Okay. So if you wanted to put a little bit of a longer hose on, you could have one custom made to a certain length if you've got to go up, you know, do something on a high scale. Yeah, yep. or you just don't like the color. Don't like the color. It's going to be black. The other one I've got to Bad news for you. It goes with everything. Always going to be black. It goes with everything. Um, how many amps does it draw? 13, They're wondering if they can run it on their Honda generator. 13 amps. Great. Um, it's a, yeah, it's a very uh, thrifty motor. The motor in here is actually an induction motor. So a little bit about the two different motors you're going to get on electric pressure washers. There's universal and there's induction. So this one's got an induction. Usually, unfortunately, they're a little bit more expensive, but they're quieter. They're stronger and they have a lot more longevity than a universal motor. Um, you'll see those in the really low price point ones and they do a decent job for what they are, but these guys have, because you've got the pump running directly off, a direct drive pump is what it's called. Um, you need to have as much jam come out of the motor as you can. And this one certainly has, I mean, it's, uh, it's uh, you know, very stalwart and 13 amps will run on pretty much any breaker that you've got. Most generators are right. going to be minimum 15, sometimes 20, just like a household circuit. So cool. yeah. So if you're a newbie like me, um, cause I tend to take a piece of newspaper to do most of my washing. So now mm -hmm. I'm changing my life. Um, and you're looking at these fittings and you just see the different colors. Yep. Do the instructions actually take you through, um, what each fitting is recommended yeah, for? Like what comes with the machine? You're going to have kind of an instruction on that. Now, if you have any other questions, I mean, you can always call or stop into one of the stores. Please do. Um, we've got selections of individuals if you wanted to add to or if you want to replace if you do happen to lose them they come out of the caddy or the kids take them and put them somewhere because yeah. that never happens either never um never. yeah it's really straightforward they'll all have their degree on them and it's pretty simple you can also tell by looking at the orifice the hole size on it that the smaller number is going to be a finer more accurate spray and the larger number is going to be just a, a finite uh, kind of a wand wash right yep. very cool uh, what else have we got in here uh, we talked about the warranty already. Does it fold up for storage? It doesn't fold up, but, but it's we a were quick, talking about stuff it's a here. quick release. Yeah. So yes. there's two little quick buttons on here, the little spring loaded buttons, and you can pull the top frame off and just lay it down. Um, you, like I say, you can take the hose uh, apart. You can take the uh, wand apart. It'll split in the middle here. Quick connect there. Um, it's really easy. I mean, you can get into a very yeah. tight little spot if you don't have a lot of winter storage in a shed or, you know, if you're really careful, you could put it, uh, you know, under a deck if you had a nice uh, tarp or something yeah. over it. Absolutely. Yep. And right now it doesn't mount, right? There's nothing. There's nothing okay. other than being able to remove it, but there is going to be a wall mount coming into our assortment, I'm told, uh, this summer, um, specifically for this unit. So very it cool. would be kind of a take off the rolling onto the wall mount. And then if you yeah. had a dedicated wash bay, um, uh, equipment shop or something like that, you wanted to leave it to store it to get it off the floor and as well just to be able to use it and keep it up high. Yeah. Yep. Okay, let's take one more yeah. question and then we'll spray some more stuff. Sure. Uh, a lot of questions about what the nozzles are used for. So which nozzle would you recommend for cleaning concrete, which is my yeah, cleaning favorite concrete. thing. I like an empty concrete area. So. Honestly, it's going to be either the tip we have in the gun or the 25 degree. So with the 15s in the gun, the 25 degree, it's going to be a tighter spray okay. and it's going to be a lot more pressure focused into an area. Yeah. Um, so if you have a lot of, uh, you know, build up the concrete's older, it's got some algae or something growing on it. You can just simply, you know, go over top of it and just wash it away. Right. You can put some detergent on it too to loosen it up, but, um, or spray it down, soak it with some water, just a regular garden hose to get it soft. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'd use something a little bit tighter. The foam cannon's not really meant for that, and the uh, cone-shaped spray, it's a little less aggressive, so okay. it'd be more for just general cleaning. Okay, yep. very cool. Would a drill pump from a lake have enough input pressure? We uh, got cottage people with questions. Don't believe so. You're going to want something like you get out of a, either a well pump or a city, somewhere between 40 to 70 PSI for input. Uh, that's pretty important. You don't want to starve the pump and have it cavitate, and you're just going to damage the pump. Yeah, yep. all right, that was for you, Ben. Okay, do we want to wash something else sure. or should I take Let's, a couple uh, more? Well, what we've got here is we've got a pallet to kind of simulate some old decking or old fence and we yeah. see if we can clean up a little bit. Yeah. We don't have any, uh, you know, deck or anything cleaner specific, but the detergents we can use as well. Okay. We haven't sprayed this previously, so we'll just go over there and give it a go. Now, it's not quite the same because my deck is full of dead bugs, 
leaves from last year that yeah. I didn't deal with. Right. Probably something that spilled that I also didn't deal with. So this one's looking a little bit better than yeah. my deck. So again, with any pressure washer, um, you know, from something like this up into the professional pressure series, you want to make sure that you're going to test first. You're going to stand a little bit further back because you don't want to start pulling off finish. If you're washing a car, you don't want to strip right. paint or decals or anything like that. So you can always go in a little bit closer, but you can't pull back if you're too close to start. So you just want to start with some caution. Right. We'll get it wet first. Somebody's on our water line. <laughs> this is one of the nastier pallets we had out in the back. See that stuff seething out of it. You said something about the water line. Do you want yeah. to make sure no one's flushing while you're pressure washing? Well, that's, or? No, it's not so much that, but we're on a shared water line with the warehouse here. So if yeah. they're using something to water the uh, forklift batteries or something like that. All but right. um, yeah, so I mean, you can blast away. Like I say, you can put some detergent on it or some of the uh, products you'll get at the home centers for yeah. cleaning decks and things like that. Very good. Uh, and just a reminder, guys, make sure you're getting your questions in because you will be entered to win this pressure washer today that we're going to be giving away for you guys. So keep those questions rolling. Um, I got a couple of good ones for you here. Let sure. me just navigate the sun. Uh, is a ground fault interrupter built into the cord? That's it from is. Susie. Yep. Right on the end Smart of the cord. Question. Yeah, we've got a ground fault interrupter. There's a reset breaker on it. So if there is some kind of a contamination with water, it'll automatically trip. That saves you. That saves everybody down line. And uh, easy reset after that. Okay. Uh, Dwayne would like to know, plunger, pump, or diaphragm? It is an axial pump. So it is uh, running kind of on an eccentric. So it's not like a triplex pump, which is going to use plungers or pistons. Right. A little bit different. Okay, yeah. cool. Um, why don't we try a different nozzle? What are you, what are you going to recommend next? Well, we can fill the foam cannon. Let's get the foam yeah. cannon filled. We'll get that filled up. We're going to introduce a little bit of water into it. Can when I we, pepper you with questions while we do this? You certainly can, by all means. Okay, uh, how long can it be used at one time? The unit itself? Yeah, Jill would like to know that. As long as you want. I mean, there's a heavy duty cycle on it, but I mean, realistically, with everything in, in reason, you'd want to keep maybe uh, five or 10 minutes and let it cool off for a minute. So until you get tired? Basically, yeah. Okay, <laughs> that's about when I get tired. All right, and how far away should the nozzle be from the item you're spraying? That depends on the item and it depends on the nozzle. Okay. Um, again, if there's something really delicate, you can start far away, you can always go closer, but if you're too close to start and then you're gonna pull back after, you gotta kinda test it before you get into it. Okay. So I'm gonna leave this here. I'm just gonna go over here without the nozzle on it. There's not gonna be any pressure buildup, but we still will get water out of it. Okay. So I'm just gonna put a little bit in the canister here. Now I have another question, of course. I'm full of questions and you're the one who answers them. Uh, what's the roto nozzle attachment? The rotor nozzle is this guy right here. Let's play with that one. Sure, we yeah. could do. I mean, this one you would use for, you know, like I say, cleaning furniture or, yeah. you know, just general maintenance kind of stuff. Outdoor furniture. Yep, cleaning mats. Well, you could do indoor furniture too, but you got to do it outdoor. <laughs> Very clever, Derek. All right, uh, let me see if I can pull up another one here. I'm going to scroll up a little bit more. Um, can it be used on composite decking? Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Composite wood decking. Um, the same thing applies. Wood decking, if it's older wood decking, like, you know, something that might look like the pallet, you'd want to be careful if it's a little softer, if you've got some yeah. fibers sticking up, it might want to pull the fiber up. Yeah. Composite obviously is a little bit more stalwart. So, I mean, you could uh, go a little bit heavier on that. But um, what I do at home, I go over it with a, kind of a, a soft bristle broom yeah. and uh, put some detergent on it. And then I just give it a rinse and Great. that's it. Easy, yeah. of course. Yep. You make everything easy. All right, let's see what this one does. All right, let's see. We can give this guy a go again. definitely a different spray there. It right? is. Yeah. yeah. It's rotating and it's a cone shape. So it's going to be kind of hitting and pulsating as it's, as it's cleaning. Very so cool. yeah, a little bit different action there. Love it. Julianne and Amy uh, would like to know, can we clean our air conditioning units with this? Yes, absolutely. Yes. Yeah, clean the condensing units for sure. That's very handy. And that's what you should do every season before you get your air conditioner going is give that a clean. I bet they look really gross right now. So yeah, yeah this is a I good time for it. that. Yep. Uh, everybody is super excited about the foam cannon. So yeah. we should probably get our foam party Let's started. Let's do that. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I've got it charged up with the car wash. And like I say, any kind of car wash or detergent you can put in here. 
And I just put a little bit of water in to kind of make it a little bit more fluid. Right. You want to give it a shot? Frick, yeah, I do. Of course okay. I do. Let me just move the technology. Sure, we'll do that. Get the gloves on. Yeah. I don't think I sized my gloves before. There we go. All right. All right. So we're going to take this on to my new truck. Start from the top and work down. Totally. Like everything, right? Don't I'll step on your hose when you use it. Start from the top. So uh, this is not my truck. We borrowed this truck for the shoot. Oh, like, so when you're short like me, get a little closer. Derek, how am I doing? You're doing good. I've Just, seen this once in a car wash, yeah. but I've never seen it from the outside. Yep. Hopefully the owner of the truck also thinks I'm doing a great job. Yep. And some of the detergents are going to foam a little more than others, but um, as long as you have the right one for the job, Can you tell I've never washed my own car before? <laughs> great, I, this is you great. Might have, you might have tipped us off to that one. I know, but you know what? Look, it's doing such a yeah. good job. How am I doing? Good, hit the wheels and tires quick. Hit the wheels we'll... and tires, all right. Get all in here. Sure. We'll go do the back tire. Might as well get this little bumper. I mean, all this right. thing is super cool. Yeah. This is so, here, so we'll I can do out. this all day. All we'll right, what are we switching? We'll take the off. Okay. Hold on to that. We'll put on the 25 degree tip for a wash. Yep. And then top to bottom again. Woo! Yeah, you want to rinse it until it runs clear? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So now I'm realizing I probably should have made a smaller soapy spot, but That's we're going to keep going. That's good. I mean, that's a good looking door right there, it right? Is. All it right, is. I'm going to do one more. Oh yeah. yeah, this thing is awesome. This is so much better than going through a car wash. <laughs> um, with practice, you also probably get better at using this. Absolutely, yep. All right, so I'm gonna hand this back to you. Sure. Take some more questions. Yeah. Take a look at what people thought of our foam party. And... Yeah, it's not like Acapulco, but... No, no. Can you use hot water in it? No, you cannot. That's this a good question. This is strictly for cold water. Yeah. It's not rated for hot, fortunately. Alrighty, and what about siding? I had questions about aluminum siding and just normal household yep. siding. PVC, which... vinyl siding, aluminum siding, any yeah. kind of siding. If you've got some debris sitting, if you have a low slope on, say, a metal roof and you want to get that cleaned off, you've got some sap or some debris from some trees that are overhang, you could do that for sure. Absolutely. Okay, perfect. How high of a spray can, how high of a spray can it shoot? Such as two or three stories, for two or example. Two stories? Well, I would suggest you probably <laughs> only get about a story, maybe just over a story on this guy. Um, if you need to go up higher, obviously a ladder or an extension for the wand. Uh, we have some longer extensions, I think ranging from about three feet to six feet. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Good question, Mark. Um, what else have we got on here? Does it have high pressure soap? High pressure soap? Yeah. I'm not sure what that means. We will take that offline and we will find out for you. <laughs> That's what I say when I don't know an answer sure. in a meeting. We will take that offline and we will get that answer to if you. If they mean a detergent at high pressure, no. The cannon will only shoot in a low pressure okay. situation. Yeah. Okay. Or some chemical injectors, soap injectors on higher pressure pumps will go at the pressure that the pump is set at, whether it's at low or high pressure. Okay, yeah. cool. Uh, Trish would like to know uh, how much is Amy charging for car washes? <laughs> if you are willing to pay for this, I will do it for free. <laughs> so you don't even need to because I got to work on my car washing first. So you bring your car in and I'll practice. And then I'll start my small business. Uh, can you use it on patio chair covers? Yes, Absolutely. you can. Yes, you can. How else are you going to get all the dead bugs off your patio chair covers from last summer? I'm going to use something that puts me about 10 feet away from them. I think that's a good choice for us. Um, would this be okay to use on my trampoline or too much pressure? Nope, it would be perfect. Never too much pressure. Nope. Use it on your trampoline. Absolutely. All right, that was for Tara. And Stu would like to know, can you use it? Oh, no, we did patio chair covers already. I've got sun reflection in here. Um, see what else have we got on here? Foam cannon. 
how would we clean the AC unit? We got a lot of AC unit questions. Basically what you want to do is, you know, <laughs> you're going to have the cover on for the winter, right? So you're going to take that off. Um, depending on the AC unit, most of the time what you're going to see around the outside, whether it's round, rectangular, yeah. square, that's going to be your condensing coil, yeah. right? So that's going to get plugged up. It's really fine veins. You're going to get that, uh, you know, dirt, debris, what have you. Sometimes bugs or nests are in there. Gross. And you can go, if you can get in from the inside, uh, if you can take the top cover off, some of them have quick reverse covers on them, or if you have to go from the outside in, uh, they all have drains on the bottom. So yeah. you can just walk around top to bottom, same kind of thing, pressure wash down, and you'll see that dirt and debris come out. Uh, it's going to make the machine run more efficiently, it's going to run cooler, and if it's really hot out and it's dirty, uh, you can overload it and all it's going to do is start tripping breakers and shutting down on yeah. you. And then you're going to be without AC in the hot weather and that's not fun. It's not acceptable. No. Uh, Perry would like to know, is there a brush or powered brush attachment for vehicles? He finds that the spray alone is often not enough to cut through the road grime. I there, know. Nothing that comes with it, but you can add to it. With the Quick Connect, um, there's a, you know kind of a variant of different things. We've got a rotating brush head that you can put on there. Um, if you have something from another unit that has the quarter inch Quick Connect on it, you can certainly plug that in. But yeah, that's available. Very cool. Uh, what about washing stucco? Yep, stucco for Doesn't sure. Doesn't go flying off, it's no, all good. Again, it's the same thing. If your stucco is really loose and you're thinking of recoating it or just kind of prep it for, you know, maybe some paint or something, step back, try and wash, see what comes off. If you want to get a little bit more aggressive, go a little bit closer, maybe try a, a little more uh, confined, uh, you know, 15 degree yeah. spray versus 25. Um, but yeah, you just got to kind of see what you're doing and Fair test enough. it out first. Yeah. yeah. Uh, can I use it in place of a water pick? No. No. I would suggest not. Okay. That is a, a no, Lori. Uh, and are the wheels plastic? The wheels are plastic. They're rubber coated. So the base, the, the, the wheel hub itself is plastic. Um, they're a little bit taller than what you'll see on most of the pressure washers, which is nice because taller wheels roll over land easier. So, uh, and the rubber coating helps. How heavy, Lori would like to know, is the detached piece to carry around? Lori, you have great questions. These are very important things that I should be thinking of to ask if I'm going to buy one of these. So I how would, heavy is I this? I would estimate, uh, just judging from the weight of the frame, uh, the whole unit's being about 36 and a half pounds. I'm going to say you're probably at about 34, 35 pounds. The frame's not really that heavy, uh, but again, with the induction motor, that's a really heavy unit compared to a universal motor. Um, so it's a good thing, but if you got to go a long distance and you want to take it and carry it by hand, you might want to take it in the frame, roll it to where you need to, and then go portable with it from there. Right. Yep. Will it take decals off the equipment? Uh, if the decal's really loose, it will. If you're going to be close to it, the same thing as loose paint. If you have some rust around a wheel well or something like that and you don't want to remove it, right. always just step back, go in. It's the same kind of situation with any material. Okay, yeah, yeah. and that one was for Mike. Ooh, we got a lot coming in here. Uh, we got the patio chair covers. We covered that already, so you can definitely use it on your patio furniture, your chair covers, your siding, your windows. Can you use it with low water pressure, like at the cottage? Depending, we on know what, what that's yeah, like. depending what's coming out of the cottage, again, usually most well systems, if you're on a well, uh, if you're not pumping out of the lake, you're usually going to run 40 to 50 pounds at your high pressure. Okay. That's, that's good. Um, if you can get a little bit more, if you can put a bigger pump in, if you're going to be doing a lot, if you're just small little cleaning jobs or yeah. something like that, you could probably get away with it. But again, you don't want to have a lack of water supply in. Extended, it's going to cavitate. The pump's going to get worn a lot faster than it normally would, and uh, you're just going to end yourself costing up the money. And you know what? When you're at the cottage, you're there to relax. That's right. So you should only be doing small jobs. I get that people go out to set it up and stuff, but you yep. should be relaxing, small jobs. That's right. All right. So before we get to more questions, let's spray some more stuff. That's sure. what we're here for. Yeah. Test it live in action. Keep your questions coming in, guys, because we are going to be giving this away at the end of our episode. So make sure you put your questions in the chat. If you are just tuning in, this is Princess Auto C at work, live in action. I'm Amy, this is Derek, and this is our AR2300 PSI electric pressure washer. What are we blasting next? I don't know, we can go after the truck a little bit I mean, bit we more. should it's probably finish dirty. the truck. I didn't, Lives I, out of town. yeah, I did, I did a medium job on that. I'm gonna yeah. step aside and uh, sure. let a professional take over well, here. What I'll do is I'm gonna put some more detergent in here, some more car Perfect. wash. I'm gonna go about halfway full, I think this time. And that's the beautiful part. If you spill a little bit, you've got a pressure washer right there to clean it up. Derek, can I pepper you with a question? Do it. Is the strongest PSI, is this the strongest one we carry right now? The strongest? PSI, the PSI? 2300, yeah. Um, no, no, we have, uh, I believe, uh, upwards of 4,000 PSI. Yeah. Perfect. That'll be a larger gas unit, like I say, a little bit more industrial. 
Um, so yeah, what would we want? What's like, where would you want to make the call to go? Oh, uh, I need more I mean, power. You know, maybe a construction company that might be doing some, you know, heavy work, or maybe they have a graffiti cleaning contract or something like that. Um, like a lot of mobile detailers will use something that's around the 23, 25, okay. maybe 3,200 PSI. But again, they're not looking for stripping paint. They're looking for just cleaning, okay. um, whatever makes the job easier for them. Right. And of course, portability price, all those kind of things come into play as well. So, you know, does somebody want to spend two or $3,000 on a, you know, industrial pressure washer? Maybe they got if, a lot of graffiti to clean off. they feel they need to, then yeah. I'm all for it. All yeah, right. That was a good question. It. Thank yeah. you, Anna. Um, a few people have asked if they can order it online. Certainly can. Certainly yep. can. Anything in the catalog. 2021. Yep. Order online and get dropped off right to the house. Please do. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Sure. All right, let's give her. Yeah, we'll give her a coat here. Derek, make sure you get all the spots I missed. Well, again, this is a dark color truck and a very bright sun. So it's going to dry pretty quick. that off very cool i'm going to take yep. a look at some more questions yep. so we'll take a couple more questions before we announce our winner for today so keep them coming in uh, let's see what we've got You are certainly a man who's washed a truck before. Yeah. I've done you know a what you're times. doing. You're yeah. doing a great job. But again, depending on how much dirt you've got, if you go over it a couple times, uh, you can get it to a point where you can go in with uh, a nice chamois or something like yeah. that and dry it off, get the water spots off. Yeah. Very that'll cool. go a long way. All right. I got yeah. one more question for you. Sure. <laughs> this is a good one. This is a real stinker of one. Uh, will it get manure out of a barn stall without covering the user in manure? I guess that all depends on where you're spraying and how you're spraying it. Because it does that's all, take a certain set of skills. That's all relative, yeah. that's all relative to the, uh, the angle of the spray and how close you are to it and what you're spraying. If you're spraying up against a wall or in a corner, you could get some kickback. Yeah. And that's not ideal. Yeah. So I guess I would recommend a little bit more PPE as well, just as a precaution. Yeah, Maybe you might want to go into a poncho. Yeah, a poncho. That's yep. a good one. That's yep. a good one. All right, let's take a look at our winner today. So sure. just a reminder, our winner is getting this AR Blue Max 2300 PSI electric pressure washer. A lot of free car washes that you'll be giving out to your friends for the next years, few years. Yeah, easily. Easily. So congratulations to Jeffrey Richard Kemp. We are going to be sending you one of these. Congratulations. And we are going to wrap up here. Yeah. I think we're pretty much done. Yeah, so we got a line of cars to wash. Well, I got a lot of cars to wash now. So thank you guys for tuning in. This was See at Work. I'm Amy. This is Derek. Please make sure that you check us out next time because this is going to be a lot of fun. We're getting a lot, like really good at this stuff, Absolutely, eh? yeah. Dan makes it look easy, but it, yeah, it's fun. Yeah. All right, well, let's go wash my car. Sure, like, bring it around. But you wash it. Okay. I'm going to just ask you a lot of questions while you wash it. Done, yeah. And then you could probably reach the roof better. Then maybe we could wash yours. That's great. If we get to it. We'll see. You got it. We'll see how that You're goes. the boss. We should probably take care of this one first. Sure, we'll clean All it. right, up there. There you go.